All right, well, the carport people finally showed up. This is a day later than what it was scheduled to, and about six hours past what they said they were going to be here, but they made it, so that's good. Uh, the guys here are very friendly, and they got started right away, and they're getting all the metal down now, getting ready to start setting it up. So I'll get a couple clips and see, see how it looks. I asked them to kind of get it as close to the shed as I could because I wanted the, uh, the top of it to kind of overlap the top of the shed here. And that'll, once they square it up, it'll give me about uh, three inches over the shed roof right there. And hopefully that'll work out good for me. Pretty cool watching them. They're getting it leveled up now. I told them, or they asked which way I want the water to fall, and I said I'd like it fall off the front side here. So they're they're leaning it. They're starting it a little bit higher in the back, so it'll be just slightly sloped forward. And it's pretty neat watching the, how they're doing that, using the uh, the levels, the string levels. first sheet of sheet metal up top in the very middle and I'm noticing as they're as they're screwing it in they're making sure that all the uprights are level as they're going all right got the first side on on the top anyway they're gonna be putting it down the sides as well that's something that's extra that I wanted they're gonna be doing the sides uh, just to 15 feet right here. I'm going to be leaving this open right here just as like a walkway because I always come through here and I just kind of want it like a doorway. But the rest of it will be closed in to kind of help protect from the elements a little bit, the rain and the leaves. Trim. I picked the black and gray. Kind of go with the theme of the car anyway, gray and black. Putting the trim on now on the other side. to get a better look at what it's going to look like finished up. I'm sure that sun is probably playing hell on the uh, camera. I just wanted to leave the back end open there so I'd have a little walkway through there. I'm so used to walking through here all the time. You can kind of see my little trail right there where I go to the shop. You know, my water hose is over there, so i be able to get them a water hose and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully it'll work out okay like this. Just getting the first side finished up. Just about done. They've got to go to the other side. Uh, he's out there trimming another piece out there for the bottom there. They got some trim pieces that they're putting on to, to trim it out. Makes it look nice and finished too. Hides the sharp edges. All 
I think they got her just about finished up. They just picking everything up now. It's been exactly one hour and 50 minutes. They did a pretty good job. It looks good. I like the colors. I really do like the colors, the gray and the black. I believe it's all finished up. Just got to uh, clean up a little bit. Got screws down there. We're having to get up. Almost, it really just puts that old shed to shame. <laughs> but we got some plans on renovating that, making that look a little bit better. I'm going to redo the front of the shed, redo the wood there and the doors, and give it a nice paint job and make it look good in line with the new carport here. So the Challenger finally has a place to rest out of the sunlight and the rain. Well, it's finally here. It's finally finished and the Challenger is finally under the cover for the very first time. And I'm happy to see it done. I really like the colors, the gray and the black. I think the color turned out really good. I think it matches I think it matches the car pretty good. The build looks pretty nice. So as far as the back goes, this uh, this five foot gap, I just didn't want to pay the extra $200 that it was going to cost to do a frame out here since I already added additional money for the sides that I wanted here. It was going to be another $200 to add a, a frame for a door, which really would have just made the gap a foot and a half narrower than what it is. I think a door is what, about three and a half foot, so that's a five foot gap right there. But like I said, I, I did want it kind of open so that I could walk through here whenever I want to. And then like on the other side, that's where my water hose and stuff is. And whenever I want to wash my car, I can just pull it, pull the hose through here. And I don't have to walk all the way around. So final words, I'm happy that this is finally done. And this is all behind me now. <laughs> I did want to mention though that uh, that I was happy with the installers, the crew that came to set this up. They were very friendly, and I asked them beforehand, whenever they got here, if they mind if I took pictures and video while they worked, not to show them, but just to show this thing going up. And they said they didn't mind. He didn't. He didn't care. So that was cool. They were very friendly. They did exactly what I asked. I, I tried not to bother them, but. There was a few times I was trying to get him to tweak the back end right there where it was going to set, and he didn't mind at all. They didn't get aggravated. They just did what I wanted. So, very cool. But as far as the customer service with Carolina Carports as a company, I think that could use improvement. And it seems to be a common theme whenever you get out on the internet and you read reviews or you hear of other people talking about the same company. I, they did communicate me through email but it just uh, it seemed like it took a whole lot longer than what I was expecting. It was, it was delayed three times. And this was actually supposed to be installed yesterday, but they didn't make it. They did call me to tell me that it was gonna be the next day. So, but as far as communicating with this company, I think they just, they need to step up their game with customer service and communications is what I talked about before. So that's how I feel about it. That's my little rant, but I'm happy with the product and it looks good, finally got her done.